we're back. <laughs> right, how do you find your style? This is a question I've been asked a lot over the years, especially at workshops, especially around portraits, but street photography, portraits in general, and it applies to photography across the board. Right, if it's not a question you have, belt up anyway, because we're out and about, we're over Borough Market, London Bridge, hunting a few on the balls of your feet, street clicks, and we're gonna be stealing a few street portraits as well along the way. Right, let's get in a character. <laughs> Okay, we're back, style. We all know that putting in the time, putting in a shift as often as you can to develop your craft is, is essential. But here's the thing, you can't fake it by trying to imitate someone's style. A lot of that is kind of sort of unconscious. We fall into bad habits. If we do that, our work is gonna, it's gonna lack authenticity because we haven't lived or experienced that person's life. But you can look at somebody else's work but you could never replicate that completely because you haven't experienced what that person's experienced. You can't actually access what is inspiring you about that image. We think we can, but we can't. Thinking's the problem. What's informing that person's work is their life's experience. And when we're over-influenced, what we do unintentionally is we skim off the surface. I'll shoot in that location. I'll shoot with that lens. I'll shoot with that camera that that person's shooting with. I use a similar preset in post-production. But have you noticed when you do that, it's just something that's not quite right. It's just a little bit off. It looks trying and stuttered and hopeful at best. Okay, so how do we change it up? Right, so let's address the elephant in the room. We're not happy with our style. We have to put in the hours, remember that. We can't f fast track the, the practice side of things. Secondly, we need to mix it up with what we're consuming, our creative diet. Look at it like a diet. 
photography, music, cinematography, media. To change your style, you kind of have to do it from the inside out and you can't force it. You have to kind of work on yourself outside of photography, what you're being, being influenced by and allow that. Naturally, you can't force it to find its way into your work. You can't just change the surface elements. There has to be like a, a purposefulness. Is that a word? <laughs> and it takes changing habits until we're passionate about those new things that we're consuming and it will find its way in. There he is. Oh, she's in the way, hold up. <laughs> Cheers, fella. Cheers, mate. What's that then, Streetwise London? Mate? The old Streetwise London. Oh, it's a map. Just being nosy. No problem. <laughs> it's a good map. You're a long way from home. Yep. Where from? Tennessee. That's where Elvis comes from, my hero. <laughs> yeah, that's the other end of the state. Yeah, yeah. Let's get a picture of you then. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm getting a bit closer. He's confident in this guy. He's a lot. Hold up. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot, yeah. fella. <laughs> you'll see that online. That's a banger. <laughs> You a street photographer? Uh, not really. Pretty cool. Why? <laughs> <laughs> the street thief. Okay. The street thief. Same on Instagram. The street thief. Right guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, 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 now's the time to do it. We're kicking on now. We hit 4,000 subs last week and I've got good subscribers here, good followers. I get good comments. And it's the same on Instagram as well over on the, on the Street Thief, plug, plug. Like the more time you guys invest in this channel by with a simple hitting the subscribe button, the more time I've got to invest I can bring more to the table and the video videos will, will, will just get better in terms of um, the quality and what I can put out. Don't forget to grab a copy of my zine stroke book, The Way of the Street Photography, if you haven't already. It's gonna be like a really juicy little creative Bible for you, I promise. If you want a copy, I'll put a link in the, the notes, the show notes under this video, or go to my website, lashmarcreative.com and follow the yellow brick road. Follow the signposts. Is that us? Done? I think. Till next week, I think we're done. Out. <laughs> <laughs>